ex-Trump aide Sam Nunberg says he will refuse grand jury order unless he doesn't. Washington, it began with a subpoena. It ended with a question about whether its recipient was drunk on live television. Sam Nunberg, a one-time Trump campaign aide who recently met with investigators for the special counsel, set cable news alight on Monday when he declared that he was subpoenaed to go before a grand jury on Friday, but that he was unlikely to appear to provide documents he was ordered to hand over. He indicated he did not know what the special counsel, Robert S. Mueller III, was seeking by ordering them to appear before the grand jury and to turn over a number of documents. There was no way to authenticate the subpoena, Mr. Mueller's office declined to comment. But Mr. Nunberg said he was unconcerned about the potential for being arrested. By mid-afternoon, he had been interviewed on MSNBC and CNN. Fox News soon joined in with coverage. On air, Mr. Nunberg denigrated Sarah Huckabee Sanders, the White House press secretary, as a slob. Twitter cataloged his insults, mesmerized by his repeat performances. One CNN host asked him if he had been drinking. By evening, Mr. Nunberg told reporters he might comply with Mr. Mueller's demand after all. Unless he doesn't, of course. And so it went with Mr. Nunberg, a protege of the self-described dirty trickster Roger J. Stone Jr., who has been a focus of aspects of the various investigations into possible Russian collusion with the Trump campaign. Part of the subpoena document, which Mr. Nunberg provided to the New York Times, it is dated Feb. 27, and makes no mention of requiring him to appear before the grand jury. It calls only for him to preserve documents from November 1, 2015, through the present related to several people connected to the Trump campaign. They include President Trump, the departing White House communications director, Hope Hicks, the former campaign manager Corey Lewandowski, Stephen K. Bannon, the president's former chief strategist, Mr. Trump's longtime bodyguard, Keith Schiller, the former Trump organization lawyer Michael D. Cohen, and Mr. Stone, a longtime confidant of Mr. Trump's. They have requested a ridiculous amount of documents, Mr. Nunberg said. Should I spend 30 hours producing these? I don't know what they have. They may very well have something on the president. But they are unfairly targeting Roger Stone. The subpoena also demands any documents related to Carter Page, a former Trump campaign foreign policy advisor who was secretly surveilled by the Justice Department as part of the Russia investigation, as well as Paul Manafort. The former Trump campaign chairman and his deputy, Rick Gates. Mr. Manafort has been indicted on a string of money laundering and fraud charges, and Mr. Gates recently pleaded guilty and agreed to cooperate with Mr. Mueller's investigators. The list of people about whom Mr. Mueller is seeking information from Mr. Nunberg raises questions about his target, as does the time frame. Mr. Nunberg was fired by Mr. Trump during the summer of 2015 and thus was gone from the campaign in November. And he and Mr. Lewandowski are known to be combatants.